We're given this for f of x. We want to find the difference quotient. Formula is given right there. Okay, so this first requires us to find f of x plus h. We already have the f of x already and you don't put anything in for h, so we want to first find f of x plus h. So when we do that, we every x we see here, we're going to replace it with x plus h. So I have x plus h goes here, minus x plus h, and then I have plus 1. So now I need to simplify this. We want to make sure we follow the correct order of operations for this. So we're not allowed to take 3 into the parentheses because order of operations says we have to do the square first. Okay, well how do we do x plus h squared? Okay, well a common mistake that I see is you'll see this done. Distribute the square, you get x squared plus h squared. That's not correct because the square, you're not allowed to distribute that if you have a plus sign in between. The correct way of doing it is that the x plus h squared is really written this way. It's written as x plus h times x plus h. So you want to do a FOIL process on that one. So up here, what we do first is um, I have a 3, but then I'm going, to le I'm going to go ahead and multiply out the x plus h squared. That's these two things multiplied together. I get x squared. I get xh, xh, so that's 2xh, plus h squared. Okay, so that's the correct way to, of doing it. For the rest of it, I have a minus times this, so I can just go ahead and distribute that, and I have a plus 1. And so then I can distribute the 3 through this, I get 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus x minus h plus 1. So the whole, this whole entire thing right here, that would be f of x plus h. So now I'm ready to put this into the difference quotient formula. So starting with this, I'm going to put in the whole entire thing that I have here for the f of x plus h. So I'm going to go ahead and write all this out. I'm going to label it for you. This whole thing is f of x plus h, that whole entire quantity. I put a minus sign. Minus sign is part of your formula. Then I have f of x. Now f of x is your original one. That's 3x squared minus x plus 1. So now I have f of x uh, right there. All this is going to be written over h. So now the main thing we have to do now is distribute the minus sign and simplify. Now if you'd like to go ahead and reverse the signs when you put it right into there, that's completely fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just write it all out again, um, but you might want to just switch the signs before you put it in here for less writing. So if I distribute the minus sign again, it's really important that you distribute everything with the minus sign. So I have plus x and I have minus 1. If you've done this correctly, you should get a bunch of things to cancel out. Usually when you do this, what you're left with, you should only have things that have h in it left over. So in other words, the 3x squared cancels out with minus 3x squared here. You get negative x and positive x cancel, plus 1, minus 1, that all cancels. Notice the thing, the terms we have left here, all of them have an h in it. So when I write that out, I get 6xh plus 3h squared minus h, all that's going to be over h. The last thing you want to do is because everything has an h in it, you can actually cancel an h out with each one. So if I have 6xh and I divide that by h, that means that I'll get 6x left over. These h's cancel. Now this one I have to do the same thing. I have the square here. I'm getting, I have 1 in the bottom. That's going to give me 3h only. And then this one, I have a negative h. I'm dividing it by h. I'm going to get negative 1. Now, you don't want to just cancel that out and make it 0. You have negative h over h. So h over h is actually equal to the number 1. So that's why you don't want to just drop that out. You need to have the 1 there as part of your answer. This that results, 6x plus 3h minus 1, that would be the difference quotient. So remember what we're doing here. This represents a slope. So if you're going on to calculus, you'll be learning something called a limit, and that means that the, the h represents the, the distance you are from one point to the other. So if that h ends up going to zero, 
you would end up with 6x minus 1 and that would be called a derivative. That's uh, a expression that you can use to find the slope at any point along this curved line. So in a way, the, the uh, answer we got, it, it's slope. So whenever you do difference quotient, it's the same thing as slope.